the opportunity to be part of this challenge. My name is Mundi Georgiam. I'm a neurology resident from Cameroon, but based in Senegal. I'll be presenting a project I'm currently carrying out in Cameroon to promote brain health and awareness of brain-related disorders among young people. So a few months ago, I had the opportunity to watch this webinar on how to use patient and public involvement to improve global brain health. I was really inspired by what Professor Menong and her team were doing in India to promote brain health and awareness of neurological disorders. Inspired by their work, I decided to start up something similar in Cameroon. So like many sub-Saharan African countries, Cameroon is experiencing a growing burden of brain-related disorders. We are seeing more young addicted brains in schools. Regrettably, there's a low level of public awareness of neurological disorders leading to stigmatization and social exclusion of those affected. The objective, the overall aim of our project was to contribute to the achievement of strategic objective three of the intersectorial global action plan for epilepsy and other neurological disorders. Specifically, we aim to promote brain health and awareness of neurological disorders to destigmatize brain related disorders such as epilepsy so as to foster empathy and community inclusion. We also aim to promote early detection and treatment of brain related disorders. To achieve this objective, we designed a peer led awareness raising initiative where we recruited and trained 25 young people with healthcare and non healthcare backgrounds on basic neuroanatomy and physiology. In uh, as well as mechanisms underlying common neurological disorders. We also give them training on brain health and how to address myths, common myths and misconceptions surrounding neurological disorders in the community. We subsequently organized awareness raising activities and workshops in schools, streets, churches, which were implemented by the trainees under my supervision using brain models and posters to facilitate sessions. These are some of the models that we use during the awareness raising activities. This is one of our training sessions with the young people. So over the past 12 months, we've been able to reach out to over 10,000 students in both public and private schools. We've been able to engage uh, over 200 schools authority, school authorities on brain health and awareness of neurological disorders. These are some of the images from our activities. Here we have one of our volunteers talking to students in a private school in the center region of Cameroon. Here we have another volunteer talking to students on different parts of the brain and how neurological disorders occur. We also, like I mentioned, we also carry out street sensitization. These are some of the images from our street sensitization. We have young people talking to other young people as well as uh, adults on epilepsy and other neurological disorders. More images from our activities. So we also carry out a sensitization on social media. This, uh, this is one of the images on our social media platform where we were uh, raising awareness on epilepsy stigma and discouraging people from stigmatizing those affected. So additionally, we've observed increased engagement from school authorities. Some of the schools have given us authorization to open to start up brain clubs in their schools, we've uh, noted 25% decrease in stigma against or towards people who have neurological disorders like epilepsy. And we also received reports from some of the health facilities that there has been an increase in the presentation of patients in those facilities. These are some of the publications from our work. So using the results from our activities, we've also been uh, engaging in local level advocacy with school authorities and stakeholders in secondary education. The image in this slide, you have for the authorization that was given to us by the Ministry of Secondary Education at the local level to reach out to many more students in different schools. So I would like to acknowledge the volunteers as well as the Ibro and Diana for organization for the Brain Awareness Week grant, which enabled us to carry out these activities. Thank you.